All right, welcome back. Um, in the last video, we looked at span A, B, and then this video, we're going to look at span uh, B, C. And B, C is, is kind of interesting because if we, if we cut B here and we cut C here and we drew B, C here, remember we have this distributed load, 2 kip per foot. Um, here, it's, it's a little interesting because on the right side, you know how we said clockwise moments are positive. You have MCB and you have MBC. Now, if you look at MCB, well, there's nothing here that causes a moment at the very end of C. So we can actually say this is equal to zero. So the only thing left here is MBC. And since there's only one moment here acting on span BC, we don't really need um, this long mij is equal to tei over l equation, right? So we can actually just do um, a quick analysis and figure out what mbc is. Let me, this is going to get a little crowded, but let me do it right here. Let me draw all of this. So if I said, if I took the moment at this point, b, and I said the sum of the moments at that point is equal to zero, and I said, okay, clockwise is positive. Um, well, then you have MBC, and then you have this distributed load, um, and you know how to figure out moments for distributed loads. It's it's pos um, the distributed load times the length, which is four times um, the distance to the centroid of this. And and since BC is four, half of that is is two. So if I solve this out. I'm going to get MBC is equal to negative 8 kip foot. So we can actually figure out what MBC is without the use of this very long equation. Okay? So we have MBC and we have the two equations. Let me actually write MBC is equal to negative 8 kip foot. Okay? So we have the equations MAB, MBA, MBC. I'm going to redraw this structure, and we're going to look at joint B. Now, slope deflection, what we generally do is we look at the spans, A, B, and B, C, and then we look at the joints, A, B, and make sure these joints are in equilibrium. And that's how we can figure out what um, the unknown variables are and in this case the only unknown variable is theta b so if I if I drew out um, here's span or I'm sorry joint here's joint b um, joint b well actually let me draw out I know what I'll draw here's span a b right a b then you have this joint B. Then you have span B C. Okay, and then here you have joint A, the fixed end, right? Now we said for members, which are this piece and this piece. These are members. Clockwise moment on on the ends. Okay? Clockwise, 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 clockwise. Now the joints actually take on a different rule. Their rule is that the moments on the end of these joints are equal and opposite to the members of those who, who, those members that these joints are connecting. So if we had joint B here and we have member BC here, this moment um, on this side of the joint it's going to be equal and opposite. So if this moment is going clockwise, this moment is going to be going counterclockwise. On BA, on the left side of this joint, we also have an equal and opposite. So if this is going this way, um, the moment here is going to go this way on the joint. Now, to make sure this joint is in equilibrium, I can say, and remember this was moment BC, this was moment BA, and this is also equal to MBA, and this is also equal to MBC, right? I can say that the sum of the moments around joint B is equal to zero. 
and I can say this way is positive, right? And if I said that, then that means MBA plus MBC is equal to zero. And we know, we actually figured out what MBC was, right? It's, it's negative eight. So this is actually equal to negative eight. And you have the equation MBA. So we're looking, we're looking at this, right? MBA. Um, MBA was equal to uh, 2EI over L. Oh, I'm sorry. L was, uh, let me erase that. L was 16, right? Um, and it was 2 theta B um, plus the 32. Right, let me just make sure that's right. Yeah, it should be right. Um, plus MBC, and that was negative 8, and that's equal to 0, right? So if we simplified this equation a little, well, this 2 and then the 16 and then 2 here, that's EI over, what is it, 4 times theta B, and then uh, 32 minus 8, that's positive 16, is equal to 0. If I brought over 16 to the other side and I multiplied by 4, um, basically to solve for theta b, theta b, right, this is just algebra, theta b is equal to negative 64 over ei. Okay, so we know what theta b is now. Great. Um, in the next video, we're actually going to plug this back into our moment equations and figure out what the moments are. Um, at the ends of A, span AB.